気にしないでお元気察知しなさいお許しください先生私の許しお元気を必要なし立ってもう一度始めろ一二三、はい。<笑>あなたの自我が才能の邪魔をしないように。はい、先生。さて、もう一度、始めろ。ブリッジ、レテナ、メケイブ。We're nearing our destination. You're needed on the bridge. Acknowledge. I'm on my way. 行く前に、ひること。遅刻することがある。はい。戦いは普通の力でできる。だが、勝つには異常な力がいる。ことを忘れるな。コムドーズロッグスタートエイトファイエイトフォーツーツリーポイントワン。I've been dispatched by the Federation Council to quietly investigate the reasons behind recent terrorist attacks on Rich Height 4, a longtime Federation member. Any word from the External Planetary Affairs Department? No response to our hails, ma'am. Everything transmitted according to diplomatic protocols? Confirmed by our communication logs, sir. Captain, we've entered the Bridge Height system. We have no diplomatic clearance yet. Should we hail on standard civilian channels or military? I have a bad feeling about this. Race civilian traffic control, Lieutenant. Aye, sir. We're on final approach to Bridge Height 4, Captain. Mr. McCabe? We're receiving approach protocols now. Routing to Helm. I'm confirming instructions. But, ma'am? Yes, Ensign? We're being diverted to orbit over their primary lunar outpost. Something's wrong. Follow instructions, Ensign. Mr. McCabe, I want whatever sensor sweep of the planet you can manage. Yes, ma'am. Captain, we're reading multiple explosions on the main continent. On screen, Lieutenant. What the hell is going on down there? Mr. McCabe, report. Captain, I'm receiving news wires from the planet. Planetary security forces have cordoned off a 50 square kilometer area around several blast sites. All citizens and buildings there are being searched. I'll be in the briefing room, Mr. McCabe. Let me know when President Bindenpal responds to our hails. Aye, sir. President Bindenpal, I understand your concerns. But our people are trained to assist in situations like this. Commodore Knapp, my people are unaccustomed to seeking help from off world. Perhaps if we met privately. I'm a bit busy at the moment, Commodore. I will have to file a report with the Federation Council. I can do so with your cooperation or without it. 
How much more attention do you want focused on Fridge Height right now, Madam President? Very well. A short meeting, just you and a security escort. Thank you, ma'am. Commodore Knapp, welcome to Ridge Hyde. Thank you, Chief Roman. This is my security chief, Matt McKay. President Vinden Paul is anxious to conclude your business with her. Pardon me, but we'll need DNA samples from you for ID authentication. Of, of course. We'll also need to record your communicator's signal codes to ensure that they adhere to our security protocols. Is this common procedure for all your visitors? We require this of all our citizens. Now, if you'll follow me into the transport station. Again, Commodore Knapp, we appreciate Starfleet's offer, but our Department of Planetary Security is more than capable of dealing with this problem. With all due respect, Madam President, you deal with it by keeping your citizens under the tightest leash of any Federation world I've ever seen. DNA scans, random searches, checkpoints, constant surveillance... Report! Excelsior, are you reading these explosions? Aye, sir. Are you all right? We're fine, Captain. Prepare emergency away teams. Belay those orders, Captain! I have not authorized your intervention. Stand by, Excelsior. Commodore Knapp. I will tell you this one last time. Fritide is an advanced society. We conduct our own investigations. We look after our own people. We don't need to hang on to Starfleet's apron strings. I mean no disrespect, madam, but we're bound by regulations to offer assistance. You could certainly refuse, but the Federation Council will wonder why. The Excelsior stands ready. Shall I report that you refused us? Of course not, Commodore. One team of investigators will suffice. Thank you, Madam President. Nap to Excelsior. Beam down the away team. Colonel Sullivan? Lieutenant Matt McCabe from the... Starship Excelsior. I've been briefed. I'm sorry, but your assistance here is futile. Um, I provided an initial assessment of the blast sites with a recommendation for some sensor enhancements. You don't get it, do you? Uh, I'm sorry? I'm very impressed, Lieutenant. Very comprehensive, very thorough, very Starfleet. Nothing personal, Lieutenant McCabe. It's just that your report would not be very useful to us. Look around you, Lieutenant. We're all local law enforcement. Do you see anyone from planetary security? No. They assigned you to us to get you off their backs. You're right. I know Chief Ramon is conducting his own investigation, so you'll understand if I view your presence here as superfluous. Colonel, wait. Do I get to say anything? Persistent. Very well, Mr. McCabe. Speak your piece. I realize I didn't see through Ruman's ploy. But I'll tell you what I have figured out. Yes? I don't buy your cynical act. Lieutenant, do you have a point? You talk like someone who doesn't care. But I've watched how you've deployed your men. And despite the fact that someone ordered most of the evidence carted away, they're still investigating. Planetary security always checks the debris to search the rubble for survivors. You've read the reports. No one could have survived those blasts. I know you know that. Telepathy is among your many talents, Mr. McCabe? No, but I've read the reports too. Now, my name is Matt. Matt. Ruman's investigation is definitely going to find this was an act of some radical terrorist cell. Perhaps we can figure out something else. Is there any way we can get access to any other surveillance from this area? These buildings are all government installations. Planetary security won't release that data. But maybe your ship sensors caught something? 
Now who's the telepath, Colonel? And my name is Mira. I don't believe the planetary government is serious about finding the culprits. Meanwhile, they continue to restrict their people's civil rights. Lieutenant, surely these people have the right to govern their own affairs as they see fit. Sir, you have to see the restrictions these people have to endure. Their government has them so scared of a terrorist attack, they'll do whatever they're told. I agree that there's something wrong here, Lieutenant. But Starfleet regulations don't... With all due respect, sir, these are Federation citizens, with rights guaranteed by the Federation Charter. Mr. McCabe, we don't have a lot of leverage here. Starfleet can only intervene at the pleasure of the planetary government. Starfleet also has a duty to protect the rights and welfare of Federation citizens. Doesn't that protection extend to people whose rights are under attack by their own government? What we lack here is solid proof. Then let me find some. Find out what you can, Mr. McCabe, but tread carefully. If the President withdraws her permission, we have to go. Sir, this would be difficult even under normal circumstances. Then you'll have to make an extraordinary effort. Lieutenant. Your ship sensors didn't pick up anything? Not much. They appear to have waited until the Excelsior was on the far side of the planet. I'll keep you updated, Mira. McCabe out. Sir, have you been here since last night? Everywhere I turn, I hit a geranium wall, and behind each wall is Chief Ruman, denying access due to planetary security. What are you trying to access? Surveillance, seismic readings, analysis of the blast debris. Maybe Commodore Knapp would authorize us to travel back in time to observe the explosions from the correct orbit. He barely got us permission to investigate in this timeline. Wait a minute. Bridge to Lieutenant McCabe. McCabe here, Captain. Meet Commodore Knapp in transporter room three. Planetary security has announced that they've caught the culprits. Acknowledged. Walk with me, Nevin. I want to officially thank you for helping us apprehend these terrorists, Commodore. Excuse me. Madam President, but... No need to thank me, Lieutenant McCabe. Chief Ruman and Colonel Solvan report that your contributions were most insightful. We'll be able to bring these terrorists to trial within days. Days? How are these suspects' rights respected when brought to trial so quickly? Whose side are you on here, Lieutenant? The evidence is airtight, Lieutenant. We have surveillance proving they left shuttles filled with crude chemical explosives outside each installation. Can we see this data? I'm sorry, Commodore, but security concerns preclude its release. I've heard that before. Your attitude grows tiresome, Mr. McCabe. You should appreciate what's at stake here. This terrorist group threatens the very quality of life we've built here. We'll rebuild. We'll devote additional resources to security. And we'll ask our people to approve new anti-terrorism laws. You really believe that'll work? Young man, freedom without the power to secure it isn't worth the pad it's recorded on. Once again, Commodore, I thank you for your invaluable assistance. Good day. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. We'll have to depart as soon as you file your report with Colonel Sullivan. Sir, I think I've found the evidence we're looking for. I want to report in 20 minutes. Aye, sir. We've obtained visual recordings of the explosions from space and synced them with time index seismic readings from the planet. We also ran spectral analysis of the debris before its removal. I don't understand. You said Ruman effectively denied you access to this information. That's true, sir, but we were able to gather this data independently. Bro? The explosions took place five days ago, so I took a warp shuttle to coordinates five light days from here. I recorded the sensor data in real time as life on the planets hit those coordinates. The seismic data came from seismographs at universities on Brishheid. Extraordinary effort, gentlemen. And what are your conclusions? 
the government lied, sir. Explain. Here are the perimeters around each target where the explosives laden shuttles were supposedly left by the terrorists. But according to our data, the epicenter of each blast was deep inside each installation, and the debris patterns radiate from within the installations, not from the outside. Why would they do this? They've as much as told us, Captain. Planetary security means more power concentrated in the government, and terrorist fears make people more willing to hand over that power, even at the cost of their own civil liberties. Your theory is plausible, Mr. McCabe, but how do we prove it? Colonel Sullivan is waiting for my report, sir. I think she'll help me when she sees it. That will only buy you a few hours, Mr. McCabe. Make the most of them. Incredible. Yet I can't say I'm surprised. We have to get this information to your news media and onto the public data nets. Lieutenant, on my world it's illegal to reopen an investigation once it's been officially closed. Your investigation isn't closed yet, Mira. Not until I file my report with you. It's a matter of interpretation, Lieutenant. Isn't it worth a try? Mira, one of Earth's great philosophers once said, the man who treats freedom for security does not deserve nor will he ever receive either. You're very persuasive, Mr. McCabe. So what do we do next? First, I'm copying your reports onto these pads. We can deliver them in person to the news media. We should wait to release anything on the public data nets, though. I'm sure Ramon will be monitoring those, and we don't want to tip our hands too soon. I have a shuttle waiting outside. Excelsior! Emergency beam out! Oh, God. Jim! Jim! I'm sorry, sir. You have to come with us. Colonel Sullivan will be taken to an emergency medical facility. I'm afraid I have bad news about your intrepid Lieutenant McCabe. Terrorists appear to have abducted him. We're doing all we can to find him. Madam President, let us help. Captain Shelby, as far as I can tell, Lieutenant McCabe's meddling in our investigation got him into this predicament. You'll forgive me if I try to minimize further Starfleet interference. Madam President, I insist. Don't worry. We will find him. What do we do now? We'll just have to go look for him ourselves. Mr. Rowe? Yes, sir. Find him. You were told it's illegal to reopen a closed case. You bugged our office, didn't you? Under Starfleet regulations, we can hold you and try you for breaking our laws, Lieutenant McCabe. Is she dead? Did you have her killed? Starfleet does not look kindly on officers who violate its regulations about interfering with sovereign federation worlds. Our culture, our society, our security. All threatened by you, Lieutenant. You cannot hide behind Starfleet regulations to violate your own people's rights. The Federation citizens! Show yourself, Ruman. It's a shame, really, that you'll be shot down trying to escape. Just like the Colonel. A tragedy. Take him away. How many Starfleet officers do you plan on shooting today, Chief? I see your own unauthorized investigation led you here too, Commodore. Ramon. You are under arrest for conspiring to infiltrate and overthrow Vichite's government. What are you talking about? I advise silence, Chief. Anything you say can be used against you. After all, you have rights. Take him away.
Not so fast, Captain. There's still the legal matter of Lieutenant McCabe's meddling in our internal affairs. Until we get that sorted, I'm afraid I'll have to insist on his remaining in our custody. I'm the Starfleet flag officer in this sector. In my judgment, under General Order 14, Lieutenant McCabe acted properly, securing the lives and property of Federation citizens. And you, ma'am, are on record granting him permission to do so. What? I specifically... The laws are quite clear, Madam President. You raised concerns, but you never revoked permission. Consider it revoked. Now. So noted. Off the record, ma'am, I've become convinced of your government's treachery towards its own people. What you have, Commodore, is proof only that Chief Ruman was involved, and he will be duly tried for his crimes. Proceed cautiously, Commodore. Bridgehide is a long-standing Federation member. We are not without influence. On Earth, Madam President, we had a writer who observed that the aim of politics is to alarm the populace, make them clamor for safety, by menacing them with an endless series of hobgoblins, all of them imaginary. Let's see how real your hobgoblins turn out to be under the harsh light of truth. Get off my planet. Computer, pause program. I like her better this way. You've been spending a lot of time in here. Colonel Sullivan is dead because of me, sir. Son, I admire your passion and ingenuity, but you couldn't expect to solve everything. I understand, sir. Ben and Paul had some justification for holding you, you know. Basically, I bullied her into letting you go. I appreciate what you did for me, sir. But... Yes, Lieutenant? What happens now? Was everything we did back there for nothing? Binden Paul has a lot of friends on the Federation Assembly. But the evidence you collected at such risk will get a lot of attention from the Council. Enough, maybe, to justify a full investigation. Enjoy the rest of your workout. And let's see some more of you around 10 forward, shall we? Aye, sir. Computer, resume program. Sensei, Karamata, Seijo Ono, Chu Kokowa, Yedete, Miss Sun.